The Mona Lisa, by Leonardo da Vinci, is possibly the most recognized work of art in the world. It features a mystery woman with a trace of a smile and was painted in the early 16th century. The Mona Lisa has enthralled and enchanted people for virtually the length of her life, and its tale extends far beyond da Vinci's Renaissance studio. Here are eight fascinating facts about the Mona Lisa that you may not be aware of. This is his story. Stories about history. 1. It might be incomplete. Although he began work on the Mona Lisa in the early 1500s, evidence suggests that Leonardo da Vinci was still perfecting the painting in 1516 or 1517. Da Vinci's right hand was mostly paralyzed by 1517, making any final touches hard for him to paint. The subject's absence of brows is a frequent piece of evidence used to demonstrate that the Mona Lisa is incomplete, however this has been widely challenged. According to some historians, not having brows was fashionable for Italian ladies in the early 1500s. In 2007, French engineer Pascal Cot took high-resolution scans of the artwork and discovered that Mona Lisa had had brows, but they had faded due to time and poor restoration efforts. 2. It was formerly thought to be a self-portrait. The identity of the Mona Lisa's subject is one of the painting's most intriguing mysteries. One especially intriguing notion proposed that the artwork is a self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci himself. Given that the Mona Lisa is a female portrait, this seems improbable, but stick with us. Lillian Schwartz, an artist, conducted a computer study and discovered similarities between the facial characteristics of Mona Lisa and Leonardo da Vinci's portrait of a man in red chalk, which is supposed to be a self-portrait of the artist. Could da Vinci's renowned image of himself have a feminine twist? If you're shaking your head no, most academics agree with you. In recent years, the identity of the Mona Lisa has been largely established. It was most likely commissioned by Lisa del Giocondo, a rich woman from Florence, Italy. This notion is supported by a memorandum issued in 1503 by Florence city official Agostino Vespucci. The letter was discovered in the margins of a book at Heidelberg University in 2005. 3. It was formally displayed in Napoleon's bedroom. The Mona Lisa spent time with numerous French presidents before finding a home at the Louvre. The picture was in the ownership of da Vinci's favorite apprentice after his death. It was later acquired by King Francis I of France, who displayed it at the Palace of Fontainebleau. The Mona Lisa was afterwards relocated to the Palace of Versailles by Louis XIV, where it stayed until the French Revolution. 4. In 1911, it was stolen. A handyman at the Louvre stole the Mona Lisa in late August 1911. Vincenzo Paraglia was an Italian patriot who felt the picture should be returned to Italy and shown there. It had been in his hands for two years, and no one knew. He was ultimately apprehended while attempting to sell the picture in Florence. The stealing of the Mona Lisa garnered international headlines and established the picture as a household brand. Prior to its disappearance, only members of the art world and scholars were aware of its existence. The mystery of the lost artwork captivated people all around the world, particularly the French. People queued for hours to view the empty spot where Mona Lisa formerly hung, bringing flowers and cards for her. 5. Picasso was considered one of the suspects in the robbery. The manhunt for the Mona Lisa's thief was massive before Perugia was apprehended. Suspicion quickly fell on a group of art rebels, including Pablo Picasso and his buddy, art critic Gil Lorme Apollinaire, who were both arrested. They were well known for their outspoken opposition to the type of art presented at museums, such as the Louvre. Apollinaire had even written a manifesto threatening to burn down the museum. 6. It's been assaulted several times. 
When the Mona Lisa was recovered in 1913, considerable precautions were taken to assure its safety, but this did not prevent individuals from attempting to harm the famed artwork. A Bolivian visitor hurled a rocket at it in 1956, shattering the protective glass and causing damage to the artwork. If you look closely, you can see where the pigment was destroyed around the subject's left elbow. In 1974, a lady splashed the Mona Lisa's protective glass with red paint when it was on exhibit at the Tokyo National Museum. To protest the museum's refusal to enable handicapped persons with access. 7. It came to America at Jackie Kennedy's request. When French culture minister André Malraux visited the U.S. in 1962, First Lady Jackie Kennedy took him on a tour of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Jackie, an art aficionado and Francophile, commented that it would be fantastic if Americans could view France's most renowned artwork. Maul Rawls and French President Charles de Gaulle reached an agreement. In 1963, the Mona Lisa traveled across the Atlantic and landed in America. It was shown in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and subsequently at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Ruth Emanuel of Langley Park, Maryland, was the first person to see the Mona Lisa at the meet, having waited in line since 7.30 a.m. She thought it was definitely worth the wait after her visit. 8. It has the greatest known insurance value in the history of art. When the Mona Lisa went on tour in the 1960s, it was insured for $100 million, which is approximately $870 million now. The Mona Lisa presently holds the Guinness World Record for the highest insurance valuation for a painting and it's difficult to envision any work of art ever replacing her. What do you think about our topic for Toddy? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends. See you on our next video.